Just like the Zionists say that their forefathers used to live in uh, the state of Israel's uh, location, the Moors actually lived in Spain just a thousand years ago. Not that far away from uh, our timeline. So that means that the Moors can come back to Spain and kick every Spanish out of the place and uh, claim it as their own uh, country, isn't it? Because that's where they lived a thousand years ago. The situation between the terrorist state Israel and uh, Palestinians is becoming worse and worse day by day. I spoke to a friend and uh, in Gaza and they are in a terrible, terrible state right now. Um, no water, no electricity, no fuel, no food. And uh, the way Israel actually took this step and the way the West just went along with it and said that, yeah, Israel has the right to defend itself. And of course, every country has the right to defend itself. But for that, the country has to be the legal owner of that place, which Israel is not. You can't just uh, kick out people from their homes and uh, claim it to be your own place and say, we made it uh, better, we made it uh, nicer, we made it uh, a lot more successful than it was. Well, when you kill people, you don't give them the chance to be successful, do you? So I hope, I hope that uh, the media, which I have absolutely no interest in uh, checking out because uh, the Western media especially is coming up with lots of nonsense. Every other day, something um, is made up and presented in front of the people. A couple of days back, uh, they were claiming that uh, children were beheaded and now the reporter that said that says that she didn't see it She just heard somebody say it And then they said that uh, women were raped and now they're saying now um, That was just some claim that somebody made You can expect anything from these um, IDF Zionist uh, animals Let's call them that because actually that's how they are behaving right now so let's hope uh, for the best and uh, let's see if we can uh, collect some funds for uh, Palestine. Lots of organizations are doing that. I was asked a question yesterday by uh, a brother who said that uh, no money, no nothing is going in. So how and why are people collecting funds? Well, the thing is that uh, when this whole thing is going to be um, paused, when, when Israel is going to try to act very cute, when they're going to pause the whole nonsense, then we can send the money and uh, of course we can buy food and water and everything which we can manage for the people that are going to be left. I hope that uh, this ends very soon. I hope that we can save um, as many Palestinians as we can because uh, the main the main goal of Israel at this very moment is to kill as many civilians as possible as many civilians as possible and they don't they don't actually give a damn about who dies and who doesn't children are dying at the moment and the west is worried about uh, the nonsense news that's coming up that few hundred people died in israel i for one am not for that anybody should die not at all but at this point when on one side thousands are dead and on one side hundred are dead then I think we can uh, clearly see uh, the imbalance in the whole situation. So just pray that uh, this thing ends as quick as possible. As I was watching a video a couple of days back and uh, then another guy who uh, said that uh, instead of sending us uh, food and water and money, send us Mujahideen. And uh, I think that's, that's all that's needed right now.